guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis. Over the last couple of years, you've seen a lot of change. There's been a lot of innovation in this industry and we have been at the forefront of this industry to show you that change and help you understand what it's all about. Uh, show you some of the new features and uh, new tech that's coming out all the time on these drones. So we have two different companies that have been at the forefront of this industry for a long time. Unique and DJI have been battling it out. Uh, with their various drone offerings. So there's been rumors over the last couple years that GoPro was going to release the Karma. And yes, that rumor is true. You saw it released on September 19th by CEO Nick uh, of GoPro. So what's good about the Karma? What's bad about the Karma? Let's talk about some of the innovation, some of the tech behind the Karma. And let's talk about the good stuff, the pros and the cons of the Karma versus the various different drones that are popular that we see here on the bench today. Uh, there's going to be something new emerging for 2016 and 2017 for drones and the drone industry and getting people to use drones to tell their story. Portability. Portability is going to be king. We want something that's small, that fits in a backpack, that has high resolution and a long battery life. So can they do all of that? Can they cram all of that into one product? That's the goal, that's the challenge. And GoPro has finally done that with the Karma. It is very, very compact, it's foldable, uh, it fits in a small, slim, and modular backpack, and it's very, very, very portable. So that's what we're looking for in this industry coming up. So let's take a closer look at the specs in comparison to some of the popular drones out there on the market right now, and you can decide if the GoPro Karma is right for you. Now the biggest point of this video is to show you some of the other drones that are out there on the market and give you an idea and an overview of what's popular, what's coming up, what's relevant right now. So the biggest industry leaders right now are Unique and DJI. You're very familiar with those drones. If you've been looking at drones, you know all about the Phantom 4 and the Typhoon H. They've been battling it out, like I said, for uh, this, this entire year. Now there's a new market emerging in the drone industry. It is the selfie drone. And Unique has released a Breeze 4K in uh, their first offering for the selfie drone craze. This year at the end of the, the fourth quarter in 2016, that's, that's what's starting to come out is, I mentioned earlier, is portability. We want something super small that we can put in a bag. And this is that drone. It has 4K video on here and it does all the, the latest modes that you want, like follow me, return to home and all that good stuff in a portable small size. Now what you sacrifice with the selfie drones might be battery time and battery life. When you get over 20 minutes with these, you're only going to get about 12 minutes with this one, but you're sacrificing battery time for something that's super ultra portable and on the fly. And that's what this drone is all about and the, the, the selfie drones in general. Now let's talk about the Phantom 4. The Phantom 4 has been a great drone for me. I've, I've really enjoyed that drone as well as the Typhoon H. There are some things that bother me about these style drones um, versus the smaller and compact drones. The fact that on the Phantom 4 you cannot remove the camera, the landing gear is stuck on there, so I have to put that in a pretty big backpack uh, and take that on the plane. And I have traveled with both of these. So this one is a little larger as well, so you have to have a pretty big case on that one as well. Now there are some advantages over this one and this one. Uh, this one also has a very, very nice camera, very nice image quality, but this one gives you something that these two don't. This one gives you motor redundancy. So if you have six motors on here, one motor goes out and fails, you can fly back home and land with five motors because it has five motor mode. And I've talked about this before. It's very, very important and it'll actually save your copter from crashing and giving you a, a bad day. So that's very, very nice. The quadcopters do not have that luxury. Once you miss one motor, you're going in for a pretty hard crash and you're probably gonna break something, end up having to send it back to the manufacturer. So motor redundancy is very, very important. Now, each of these is a different tool. We can't really compare one to the other uh, because each of these copters, they bring something different to the table and they offer something different. They're totally different tools, uh, one to the other. So. GoPro has designed the Karma to sort of be an all-in-one tool and they've sat back long enough in the industry to look at 
each drone out there and decide what they could do to be innovative, to impress us. GoPro has really impressed us in the past with their action cams. The GoPro Hero 3, 4, Black, and the new Hero 5, all great offerings. The new Hero 5 is waterproof, which is super awesome without a case on it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look, a closer look at what makes the GoPro car mount so cool and so innovative uh, once again from GoPro. Okay guys, here it is. This is the GoPro Karma drone. GoPro, you did it. You impressed me. I, I've, I had my doubts, like I said in the video earlier, I had my doubts that GoPro was going to release something that would be truly innovative to what's already out there because there's already so much innovation in the drone industry and it's so competitive. Um, every year at the drone expos, you just see so much, so much, so much new stuff coming out and it's it's extremely cutthroat. So GoPro is a big company and I knew they were going to come up with something, but I wasn't, I thought it was going to be a little bit vanilla and I thought it was going to be, you know, just another drone on the market. They changed something here with this one. They made it super ultra portable and they added a bunch of components inside this case slash backpack that are really usable to the buyer. Um, so it's a, it's a great, great efficient, and economical package. I mean, for it says $799.99 on their website. Um, that's the drone, the Karma itself, uh, with without um, a camera. So if you want to bump that up, you can get the Karma and the Session for $999. If you want to get the Hero 5 Black, you can also do that, and that's $1099. Now on their site, it does say that the Hero 5 is coming in spring 2017. So um, you're going to have to wait on the session. But everything that's included in this backpack case right away is, is very nice and very usable for someone to go on a, a hiking trip and something that's super ultra portable. It has everything you need in here. It has the controller with a, a little screen on there. I believe it's a five inch screen, uh, touch screen as well. So very, very nice. It has minimal buttons on the controller so that you're not confused. In, in any situation. If you have a situation where, oh, you know, oh shit, I got to return to home, you can press that little return to home button and that's uh, one of the few buttons available on there on the controller, the physical buttons. So it does fold down and it's very compact, very small. I like that. There's not a lot of antennas and stuff hanging off of it and you don't have a huge iPad to carry around with you with a cable plugged into it the whole time. Uh, with the Phantom 4, I always forgot the cable. And then I, you know, I couldn't fly unless I had the cable to plug into the transmitter. So that was kind of annoying. With this one, you don't have to do that. It unfolds. The battery life is around four hours on that Karma controller. So, you know, not the longest battery time, but maybe that will improve. Maybe we can have some kind of battery backpack that comes along that will extend that to an eight hour battery life. That would be great. Um, also included in the package, the Karma drone, it folds down, super portable. I love that. It has over a 20 minute flight time and it looks like it has decent size motors on there with 10 inch props. So very good size props on this drone. It has a front slung camera gimbal mount that we, we show um, in, in this picture here. This is something that two or three years ago, front slung cameras were not very far along, um, but we are three years ahead of where the first time I ever saw one of the front slung cameras didn't have the greatest quality on a, on a friend of mine's that I had, but these have changed a whole lot. It has a stabilizer mount all the way around the camera and it really locks it in place and gives you ultra smooth video. So that should be great. And it's all out in front of the props. So you're not going to see the props in your videos. So they thought about that. A lot of people don't like to see props in the video. Now the propellers, uh, six are included in that kit and the Karma battery, it's a good price point around $99. So that's, that's very competitive right now to other drone batteries on the market. You also get a mounting ring on there and the mounting ring is nice because you can mount it to a bike uh, or some type of pole or something if you want to raise that Karma grip up and get it higher. So the Karma grip as well, very nice that it comes with that detachable gimbal that we can twist and lock onto the Karma grip handle. Very, very nice because I've been using stabilizers for my uh, phone this year. I have a new stabilizer and I've been using that a lot to get my stock footage. 
a lot of times shaky video is really annoying on on YouTube so a lot of us youtubers are really starting to use stabilizers with our GoPros so this is great I should have my GoPro should be compatible with the, the Karma Grip my previous version the uh, GoPro Hero 4 is compatible with that stabilizer gimbal and um, this the grip itself so pretty cool that it is compatible with that it also comes with a harness the Karma harness will mount on your shoulders and you can mount your Karma grip and your GoPro right to your chest so when you're mountain biking or you're snowboarding downhill you're going to get ultra smooth video um, I've seen some mountain biking footage I might be able to show it here for a sec it's amazing these guys are ripping down this mountain and it's the most stabilized mountain biking video I've seen so very very cool and they're going a little bit fast in that video which is kind of scary so let's talk about some of the general features of the Karma right away it does have GPS and we all expect that to be on our drones uh, recently it does have the GLONASS GPS so you can get upwards of 20 satellites on this copter very very important um, it does also feature return to home which is one button push return um, one button take off and land very very standard these days these are standard features that come on the drone uh, as well as a flight simulator on the controller so you can fly the flight simulator and practice flying your Karma drone before you take off uh, for the first time with the real thing it will be quite intimidating to fly this for new users I believe because you're going to have at least a 20 inch wingspan on this thing because um, you do have 10 inch props on each side so it's it's pretty big and pretty noisy so anyone that you're flying it around is definitely going to know this thing is taken off uh, it's not going to be something that's kind of just going to fly without people noticing it is definitely going to be something that attracts attention so it does have a pretty good wingspan when it's folded down it's pretty small when it's folded down for transport uh, lengthwise it's 14.4 inches and width it's only 8.8 8 inches so it's it's pretty portable in its folded down state which is what we're looking for for this next trend in the drone market um, now some of the other features are auto shot paths you have uh, on the controller itself which does give you push button options like droney it does cable cam which we've all seen and reveal and orbit mode uh, orbit's very popular the drone flies around you in a circle as you um, walk mountain bike or ski which is, is very nice um, and they say it will do orbit while moving pretty fast the maximum speed on the drone is 35 miles an hour and that is not the fastest drone out there on the market for action sports guys that are bombing down mountains on mountain bikes the, the Phantom 4 does uh, 50 miles an hour uh, 45 miles an hour in sport mode so pretty fast the Phantom 4 also the Typhoon H does 45 miles an hour plus so in, in that follow mode so you can you can really get moving with these other drones also there's another drone out there called the Stacker and that one's 50 miles an hour plus so that one's also very very fast and the Stacker is also foldable like the Karma drone so there's going to be a lot of competition coming up with foldable drones it's going to be the new trend um, 20 minutes flight time that is kind of the standard right now that we're looking at with most of these copters uh, and the operating frequency on here is 2.4 gigahertz I'm sure that the video is running on 5.8 that's kind of standard right now that it runs on 5.8 um, I'm not totally sure if it's a Wi-Fi setup yet we will have to confirm that later if you know go ahead and post that in the comments down below now let's talk about that controller real quick the controller is super awesome I really do like the fact that I don't have a huge iPad hanging off of it I mentioned that before it has a 5 inch screen 720p resolution on the screen it's touch screen which is really nice they don't sh they don't say that on their video uh, or in their uh, on their website uh, the battery life it could be a little longer four hours is not that long hopefully there is definitely some sort of a piggyback battery that comes out um, and it's it's fairly light 22 ounces it's, it's going to feel pretty solid in your hands and it does look like it's it's fairly ergonomically shaped the uh, sticks don't stick up above the top of the surface which is different because most gimbals on most drones 
usually do stick up above the surface a little bit. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to adjust to um, flying it. But they say it's very, very natural in your hands. The battery, it is a 14.8 volt 5100. Now that's, that's fairly relative to everything else that we have out in the drone market right now. It's kind of the standard size for, um, for drones. The length on the battery, however, it's pretty long. It's eight inches long. And the weight of the battery itself is 545 grams. So it's a pretty good size beefy battery. It is a typical LiPo, uh, and you're gonna be able to charge that with your Karma charger. The Karma charger, it will charge at five amps, uh, and it's 16.8 volt. It's pretty good charger. They say on their website that it'll charge the battery for the Karma around one hour. Uh, the Karma controller, around 2.5 hours, and the Karma Grip, around two hours. I don't know yet if this charger does charge the Session or the Hero 5, but we're gonna find out. I'm pretty sure it charges uh, all your devices there that come along with your, your Karma. Now the Karma Stabilizer, that's, that's one of my favorite features of the Karma. The fact that you can pull this gimbal off and you can snap it onto the grip handle, that's very, very convenient and nice because when you're transporting it, if you decide to remove your gimbal and put it in a more protective case, you can do that. If you want to pop it off and throw it on the grip handle to do something real quick on the fly, you can also do that. You have a lot of options with this kit. And that's what, that's what makes this kit so worth the money to me, such a value, is the fact that you get all these different video components that are usable in their own right. Uh, very, very nice. Now, the dimensions on the grip handle it's around eight inches long as well. Um, uh, 1.7 inches in width and 1.7 inches in height. So it's, it's pretty small and it looks like it'll be pretty small in your hands as well. It's not super bulky. The weight is around 244 grams. The runtime on the battery for the grip handle, not that long. It's set 1.75 hours. So almost two hour battery but not quite. So you're gonna probably want some extra batteries for your Karma grip handle. You, you know, in the middle of a shoot, you're gonna have that grip handle battery die. So it's gonna be something to think about. The case itself, they, they have a great case because it also doubles as a backpack. I do like that. It's 21 inches by 12 inches in width and 5.9 inches in height. So it does look like it will fit an overhead carry-on bin, so I do like that a lot. Now let's talk about the Passenger app real quick. So what is the Passenger app? The Passenger app is an iOS or Android compatible app that you can use to show your video to a partner or friend of yours standing next to you in real time. So you can see the video coming from the Karma on their phone. Uh, as well as the controller. This is really neat because the other person can act as a camera operator. They can start and stop the video and they can see the video in real time on their phone. This is really neat because in years past we've had to buy an external controller to make this happen. And a lot of times those extra controllers were just as expensive as the original controller you had bought for the drone. So an upwards of five, $600 for a second transmitter. So. No need to buy that with the Karma. You have an app that you can do that with your friend, so you can have your second camera operator standing to your right or left and be involved in your shoot. And that's, that's actually pretty cool. And as far as I know, so far that the Passenger app is free. It is gonna be free and available from GoPro in the uh, Google Play Store and the App Store from Apple. So that is very, very nice. Okay guys, that's pretty much our, our quick overview, our drone camp's opinion on the GoPro Karma. Hopefully that gives you some, a sort of an insight and kind of uh, educated opinion about the Karma. Now, I do believe this is a great release from GoPro. I'm very excited that all this stuff is included in this bundle. It's super ultra portable. It's a foldable drone, yada, yada, yada. So everything looks good here. Now, there are some things that we need to talk about that could be possible cons or, or pitfalls about the Karma itself. Now, the first thing that, that I'm noticing is that the drone is very large size. Um, it is a much bigger wingspan than something like a DJI Phantom 4. It does sound uh, quite louder than that drone. So you're not gonna be quite as um, 
uh, unseen in, in your in your your flying expeditions. When you go out to fly, people are going to notice that you're flying this thing. It is rather large and it is rather noisy. So it's not something that's going to be subtle. Um, keep that in mind. And you also you want to keep this away from children. You want to put prop guards on it if you're flying around your kids. Make sure that you do that. Um, very important so that somebody doesn't get injured uh, or get cut. Uh, it is a 10 inch prop swing on very, very good size motor. So it's a very powerful drone. Now, all the things that it comes with, I'm stoked with that. I like all of the stuff that is included. Um, the biggest thing that I'm concerned with is maybe the front slung gimbal could have a little bit of bounce. Sometimes when you have a front slung gimbal, if you have some kind of hard movements or whatever, and this is susceptible to any types of different drones out there, if you have any hard movements, sometimes the gimbal will reflect that, but a really good gimbal will smooth just about everything out. And that mountain biking video that we saw, I didn't see a whole lot of bounce at all. So I think this stabilizer that they have on here uh, with the grip and with the front slung camera gimbal, it should be good. But we're gonna see more user footage and um, maybe find out how good that gimbal is when we actually start using it. And some of you guys start showing some of your videos with your Karma drone. So very interesting product. I like the portability of it. And I think that it's gonna do quite well. GoPro, you guys have impressed me. And uh, Casey Neistat, if you're watching this video, probably not, but you know what, buddy? You're a lucky guy that you have one of these in your hands right now. If they gave that one to you, it's probably going to be your newest pal, and you're going to take that everywhere with you. So super stoked that you have one. Um, GoPro, if you're watching, send me one, and I will definitely review it. If you don't, I'll buy one myself. Not a problem. No big deal, because I want to show it to my users and our fans. So thanks again for watching, you guys. I'm Justin Davis. I will see you on the next one. Hey guys, thanks again for watching that episode. Please do click subscribe so you can see all the newest drones coming out each week on the Drone Camps channel. We're gonna show you tons of new stuff coming out in the drone industry. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps. Thanks again, I'll see you on the next one.